ADAS is considered a mega trend because of the fact that it's one of the largest growing areas within automotive electronics. With all the new sensors coming on, especially on the camera side, um, you've got anywhere from four to six cameras externally, doing surround view, doing forward camera in mono and stereo, um, backup camera applications, and all of these applications are driving the new performance requirements, right? Driving the throughput requirements in terms of how you process that data and how you display that to the driver. The amount of cameras, radar and LIDAR sensors coming into the vehicle and the processing required to deal with all of those sensors is immense. Right now, we're in a time frame where ADAS is progressing very quickly. You have uh, time to market issues. What you're seeing is a lot of customers being tied up with hardware systems or hardware silicon and not being able to differentiate their solution. Now that's really where Xilinx comes in. Because of the processor system, because of the parallel processing capabilities within the FPGA uh, on devices like Zinc and MPSOC, they can differentiate both how they're doing their processing and also through software, how what types of control algorithms that, that they're developing, plus the features that they actually output to the OEM customer. Um, and they can really differentiate their systems in that way. Back in 2004 when we started this program, we realized that our automotive customers had very little design experience with FPGA type devices. And what we were handing them was blank silicon and they didn't really know what to do with it. Now, what we've decided to do over time was really develop a strong set of features and functions through our partners like Xylon uh, to develop kits, like the Logia ADAC 3.0 kit that's out right now, um, along with reference designs, IP, and software that our customers can use to start developing right away. And they can leverage our devices and leverage this type of reference design or IP and really get a baseline to start customizing from. The other thing in advanced driver assistance systems that we think is going to be really powerful is the new SDSOC tool set. Having an SDSOC tool set that allows you to um, take your code from C, which most of our customers are developing in today, and being able to drop out into what needs to be accelerated in fabric and what can be in software on the processors is a really powerful tool that we think can be leveraged in this market. We started with a couple of OEMs back in 2004. As of this year in the first quarter, we're actually shipping to 16 OEMs. As we go forward, we're continuing to push with our Zinc we're continuing with our MPSOC lines, and we believe growth is going to continue very strongly for Xilinx.